Well hello and welcome to Jimmy Dixon Total Notary Channel. Today we will look at uh, these headphones. The HE4XX from made by Hi-Fi Man via Mastro. And today I will review this pack of headphones after six months of use. So by now I have quite a good feeling of what they have to offer. Alright, so let's begin with uh, taking them out of the box. It's just for show. I did unpack it before. Now let's see here. Here we got them. And like that. So here we have a cable, a connector, and of course the headphones. The headphones uh, look quite stylish as you can see and uh, well they have a very nice fit too. So that's one thing I can say straight off. Um, I don't have a huge head but I have a rather large head I guess uh, and um, because this little frame here it's kind of uh, you can bend it a little bit, like at the joints, so you can get the perfect fit. And of course, they are not uh, they are not uh, like formable, really. You have to kind of use some force, uh, but it will still be flexible like this. But you can still bend it so they fit perfectly for you. Uh, you can also extend and uh, like extend and drag up and down these joints here as you can see and uh, it works like this the cable is kind of uh, like these smaller cables that go to your ear they're pretty light but they are pretty thick so they're kind of hollow you can squeeze them a little bit these have left and right connectors so you have to look at uh, which is left and which is right before you connect them and then you just uh, plug them in in the proper sides like that and you can see the left and right there so you can see easily that you have them on the right side and then you have the connection like this if you have a larger banana plug, you just can plug this into this, which is very nice. In any case, there are some, there are some points um, I will go through, and this is based on user experience. Um, I won't give you any statistics in this video, but I'll, I will give you an honest review and user experience from using these headphones basically six months every day like that. As you can see them right here they're made from uh, plastic and metal they are kind of heavy they feel they feel heavy to have on you you can you can feel them uh, however because they have such a nice fit uh, because they're round like this they really cover the entire ear so you can really, like, you can almost headbang in them, which is cool. I had to bend them out a little bit to get to have a nice fit, because I thought they kind of um, were a little bit too tight before. Uh, this kind of uh, fabric area, uh, it feels very soft and nice against the ear. You can have them on you long times without getting sweaty and stuff like that. So that's nice, that's very nice. Uh, this material here, um, I think it's synthetical leather, but it also feels like kind of high quality. Uh, so I can't see any wear of it. Might be real leather, I don't know. I, do, I don't remember reading that, but uh, in that case it's probably texturized and pretty thin. But it seems like good quality nevertheless. Um, the metal makes it kind of heavy, but like these themselves, these kind of pads themselves, they don't feel very heavy 
because this is planar magnetic um, headphones. Uh, that's one of the big reasons why I got them, because I really wanted to try to have a planar magnetic headphone of good quality and see what they were. And uh, a funny thing when you have this, that they're pretty thin, like the speaker elements here, they're pretty thin, so they're pretty thin and flat. And actually, if you cover your ears when listening to music or something, you will get weird sound, because these um, perforated steel area here needs to have like air, free air. This also means that taking this on and taking this off uh, almost doesn't change the audio level much at all because this planar magnetical field you have here it's uh, so thin that most of the sound just leaks through you know um, you won't block out any outside sounds uh, with using this headphone uh, they don't block sound at all basically so that's good to know while I wouldn't recommend to wear this uh, headphones outside because they leak all the sound through. Uh, they can, however, be driven by a smartphone. Whoops, not with that plug. <laughs> with this plug, just. You can listen to music on them on your headphones and they, you know, they don't take so much power that you actually need to have a um, amplifier with you if you're on the go. Um, at least not my phone, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's more powerful than any else, but um, because it doesn't block out sound, you might get a little problem, you know, because the, the surroundings are so loud. Um, you might get to a limitation there, but normal listening volume uh, smartphone can reproduce. There is actually another reason why I wouldn't wear them just uh, in the street like that. Uh, and that brings us to the next subject, the sound quality of these headphones. And well, these headphones can reproduce a very natural sound. However, it's a little bit more high in the medium-high spectrum. So it can reproduce high discant sounds very accurately. And I feel that these headphones are quite uh, discant heavy, so you'll, you'll get a kind of uh, discant high pitch, you know, discant touch to your sound. Um, and uh, I, last I checked, which is, which is last year, um, I have quite good hearing. Um, I'm in the top 3% of uh, people that can hear good. So I have, you know, very good hearing. I hope I still do. But last year I had that um, still. And uh, so keep that in mind that I hear better than most people. But for me, this discant kind of sound is a little bit too harsh. So I wouldn't want to play it from my smartphone because on my smartphone I can't play very high I can't play very high quality music and when you have headphones that can reproduce the sound very accurately it really matters what type of music you play um, this for example these are my Cos Porta Pro I use them a lot when I'm on the go not only because they're super light and open, so you hear the surroundings, and they produce kind of much sound for being, you know, so small and so light. Um, they also don't reproduce the sound very accurately. These are much more bass heavy, and they can't reproduce those really high discant detailed sound space that these, these can produce. So, while the Hi-Fi Man produces much better sound than these ones, the Cos Porta Pro sounds much better when I plug them into my phone. And that's because when I play not very high quality music, these Hi-Fi Man, he XX they're called, I already forget, yeah, he E4XX, 
they reproduce all those high sounds and it's really annoying for my ears um, to hear all this. So keep that in mind if this is your first time buying high quality um, headphones because if you hear very good you might get annoyed and you might need to start to get some much better quality for uh, the music you're playing. Also, because these headphones are much heavier in the discant and not as heavy in the bass, um, I wouldn't use these without an equalizer. And you know, to be honest, with an equalizer they sound fantastic. I use a preamplifier. In my preamplifier I have tubes, it's a tube preamplifier. And um, I believe that this also hugely increases my uh, sound experience because the tubes kind of takes a little bit, it takes a little bit of the edge from harsh electronic sound in not super good quality and it kind of smooths it, smooth it out a little bit. I also make it boost the bass and also the discant a little bit so that um, I can get a much more bass sound uh, with this. And uh, these Hi-Fi Man he 4 xx they are actually great at producing bass. They're really nice bass in them, but you really need some kind of equalizer to boost them. Which you can see here on my amplifier that um, are also connected to my sound setup. This is my normal amplifier an old Proton amplifier. It's very good uh, actually, but uh, I made it boost the bass a little bit here too so I can get that real nice punch from them. So just to clarify, I'm very happy with uh, have buying these headphones because I looked at another headphone that looked very good too. I believe it was a Sennheiser um, and or was it another hi for I don't know, but they don't look as good. I think these look great and to me that matters. So I choose this, these headphones over the other. Not only because it's planar magnetic and I thought it sounded cool, but very much because they look so much nicer. And uh, th they are very comfortable and you don't get too hot in them. But they have a little sharp sound, so if you're listening to them vanilla and have very good hearing, you will probably notice this. However, um, if you don't have as good hearing as me, which I think uh, many of you might not have, then I don't know how much this um, very detailed um, discant will disturb you. It is mostly noticeable when listening to low quality music. When you're listening to very high quality music, as I do uh, on my computer, I usually listen to FLAC files when I listen to music, which is high density, um, you know, quality and having a good uh, audio player to go with that and not the disturbing, disturbing drivers and stuff like that, just clean like that. And I also pass them through, but even without that, the sound is great and there is nothing to disturb me. And then I boost the best a bit with um, with my tube amp, so I get, and also a little bit with my other amp, um, but so I get that little extra, because I do enjoy to have a um, little bit more bass. I like to color my general sound with a little bit more bass when I'm listening to it than, uh, than uh, completely, you know, flat, neutral. I don't really listen to it neutral. Um, I mean, it's not off the chart, but a little touch like that, and uh, these headphones doesn't have that touch of extra bass from neutral um, by default. Maybe a little bit to the discant, you know, high-medium side. I think it shifts a little bit to that. One thing I also noticed is that uh, I don't know if um, it's because of these planar magnetic headphones are pretty large and it's hard to put an exact point of where the sound is produced on top of your ears like that. Because when I try to listen to uh, like this HD music thing where you kind of hear the sound uh, pendling around you or something, 
it's hard to hear it around you. It sounds like it's always behind you. Uh, and that might be because of the uh, because of the audio producing surface of these are so large that the center of the ear isn't really in the center of the headphone. But that's just a theory, but it might be good to know. Well, in any case, these are pl unpluggable like that, and I believe that this might actually improve the lifetime of the headphone quite a lot. Uh, because um, I'm clumsy, and sometimes I just step on the cable or get stuck somewhere. And when that happens, these get ripped out just like that. So the cables aren't that much damaged that they would have been if they were be uh, stuck there. They'd just be chick, tugging at the cables. But in this, this case, they just chick, fly out. And um, I haven't seen any product like this, but uh, <laughs> it's not so fucking hard. So if this cable would break, I'll just, you know, take my tin and take my cables and take my, uh, my soldering stick and I just make a cable, you know, and that's nice, this can be replaced, because these ones are the expensive thing, I don't want to replace them. In any case, with my setup, I'm very happy to have these uh, headphones and um, I would recommend them, but not on the go. I would recommend these to have um, with your gaming setup, I use them to play games, I think it's great, um, but uh, and music, of course. Music is very nice too. Um, I'd like to have a little bit of uh, equalizer from your amplifier. A tube amp goes great with this. Um, but I wouldn't use them on the go. And well, that's my user experience to review after six months of uh, using these headphones almost every day. Well, in any case, I hope you enjoyed this little review. And if you did, subscribe 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 like the video and i'll see you next time this is jim Odessim, your host officially signing out <laughs>